Hey fish tank people, it's like uh, I just wanted to do a late night video. It is, I don't even know what time it is actually. Um, just fed the fish and wanted to make a video of uh, <laughs> there's the synodoffs over there. And he's fighting with the zebra about food. Let's see if I can get him real quick because he is right there. There he is. Right there, there he is. There's my on this. Okay, but anyway, back to the video. This video is about water movement, movement, um, and how it contributes to uh, less algae. All right, so here you go. Do you see this side? You see this side. This has algae on it. That side does not. And this side has algae on it, tons of it. This side has no algae at all. Except it down there barely at the bottom. Um, the reason is that, if you look up there, the filter. It's got water movement at the top, which blocks uh, some rays and and it, there's less light getting down to that than over here where there's n no water movement at all like like that is I mean it's going back to the filter but it's not water movement like that and uh... so I just want to let you guys know if you don't want algae on your rocks or on your uh... sides of your tank or the back of your tank um, that you might want to have a power head like over here shining and, and going on the top so you won't get algae on your rocks or anything or your, whatever you don't want algae on it's better to have water moving at the top uh, to not get algae than put tons of chemicals on there in my my opinion so I just wanted to make that video I'm going to do another video on cichlids and algae in just a second See you guys.